As we move forward in time, we observe the storm of interest continue to grow. On the IR imagery, we see a persistent overshooting top along with an enhanced V signature. In other words, we see the arms of the V extend out with these regions of cooler brightness temperatures, and then you have a region of warmer brightness temperatures down shear of that overshooting top. Now we also see a new updraft develop on the southern flank of the initial storm. What I'll do is circle it in right here. That's in the VII MRMS and then uh, this other MMRS product is the height of the 50 dBZ echo above 0 degrees Celsius and you can see that new updraft along the southern flank very nicely in that imagery. You can also see that new southern flank develop in the GOES imagery as well. Now we observe persistent above anvil cirrus plumes over here in the visible imagery and one thing I like to do to help visualize that a little bit more readily is speed up the loop and rock it back and forth. So we're looking for this cirrus above the anvil and you can see it pretty nicely in this area that I'll go ahead and circle. It just shows up a little bit more clearly when we're looping it faster and going back and forth. This example nicely illustrates how different data types can complement each other Despite satellite imagery having a temporal refresh rate advantage over MRMS, the MRMS product nicely delineates the two updraft regions, which are obscured by the overshooting top in the GOES-IR imagery.